Trish Jenner, and her brother Derry are traveling home from college for spring break. As they drive through the Florida countryside, an old truck threateningly tailgates them but eventually passes. They later observe the same truck parked next to an abandoned church with the driver sliding what appears to be bodies wrapped in blood-stained sheets into a large pipe sticking out of the ground. Having noticed their car pass by, the driver pursues and runs them off the road. After the truck drives off, Derry convinces Trish to go back to the church. Upon investigation, Derry hears noises coming from within the pipe and crawls inside with Trish holding on to his feet. Trish accidentally drops Derry, and he falls to the bottom of the pipe. Inside, he finds a dying man with stitches running down his stomach and hundreds of bodies sewn to the basement's walls and ceiling, including the bodies of a prom couple that had gone missing 23 years prior. Derry eventually finds his way out of the pipe, finds Trish, and they both flee the scene and attempt to contact the police at a diner. At the diner, they are phoned by a strange woman who tells them they are in danger. She then plays the song, Jeepers Creepers, on a record player, telling them one of them will die screaming while hearing the song. Confused, they ignore her warning and leave with two police officers, providing a security escort. As they travel, the police learn that the church has caught fire, and any potential evidence has been destroyed. The police are then attacked and killed by the driver who loads their bodies into the truck. Witnessing the aftermath, Trish and Derry drive off in terror. The pair stop at the house of a reclusive, elderly woman, begging her to call the police. The woman complies until she notices the driver hiding in her yard, who kills her before revealing its inhuman face to Trish and Derry. Trish repeatedly runs the driver over with her car but is left horrified as she sees a giant wing tear through its trench coat and flap in the air. The pair leave and drive to a local police station, where they are approached by psychic Giselle Gay Hartman, the woman who called them at the diner. She tells them the true nature of their pursuer. It is an ancient creature, known as the Creeper, which awakens every 23rd spring for 23 days to feast on human body parts which then form parts of its own body. She also tells them that it seeks out its victims through fear, and by smelling the fear from Trish and Derry, it has found something it likes. The wounded creeper arrives at the police station, cuts off the power, and eats several prisoners to heal. The creeper is sworn by police but it kills a number of them and evades capture. Trapped, Giselle warns Trish and Derry that one of them will die a horrible death. Derry demands to know who, and Giselle looks at Trish. The creeper finds them but spares Giselle before cornering Trish and Derry in an upstairs interrogation room. After sniffing them, the creeper throws Trish aside and chooses Derry. Trish offers her life for her brothers, but the creeper escapes out of a window and flies away with Derry. The next day, Trish is picked up by her parents, and Giselle returns home in regret. In an abandoned factory, it is revealed that the creeper has removed the back of Derry's head and taken his eyes, all the while, Jeepers Creepers plays on the creeper's record player. Hit the like and subscribe button for more movie recaps like this, and comment on the next movie you want to see on the channel. Peace out.